My name is Candace and I run Camp Figwig from the Sanctuary Incorporated. I started Camp Figwig uh, a couple years ago, but I've been rescuing animals pretty much my whole life. Any given moment, we could get an emergency phone call to come and rescue a pig. We drop everything. There are several times when we've gotten there in just a nick of time and we were able to rescue these pigs. Then we've got to figure out what we're going to do with this animal once we get them. So as we're driving and navigating, I'm networking and I'm contacting people and trying to figure out where can we put these animals? What are we going to do with them? Um, we have so many animals in our house right now. All the animals that we rescue are coming from horrible conditions. If you see them, and they have this sadness in their eyes. They understand everything that has happened to them. They understand. And you go to these people's houses and you see the condition that they've, they've treated these animals and the conditions that these animals are living in. They have no shelter. They have no food, no water, no clean water. Some of them have dead animals in their enclosure. They have boards with rusty nails and broken beer bottles and they're terrified and their souls are just broken and you get them home and you give them a bath they have lesions and and bugs infested in their skin rescue is everything that you have and then some it's uh, takes a strength that <laughs> i had no idea that i had i'm happy for a minute that i was able to save them but then i get sad for all of the ones that I wasn't able to save. But it is, it is bittersweet. Rescue makes you wonder if there is any kind of humanity and then you put a post on Facebook or you, you ask your friends, listen, I, I just picked up this, this animal and he is really hurt and I don't have $600 to get him the care that he needs. I'm, I'm short $300, can anyone help? And then you find the humanity. You find people who are living paycheck to paycheck and they say, you know what? I'm not gonna go out tonight. I'm not gonna go to the movies. Here's $20 is all I have. After doing a ton of research, um, I start to learn more and more about how to care for pigs. And I start realizing that there's actually a, a big pig community out there on Facebook. So I would connect with these people and we would all kind of help each other. In the midst of all this, I started making the soap and I decided to take the soap to the farmer's market. And it was a little bit of a slow start and eventually people started using the soap and it was helping them. People were just as amazed as I was that this, this product was actually helping certain situations and, and certain uh, skin conditions and acne and scars and wrinkles. So I started to do more research and more research. And now our soap line is growing. We don't have a lot of products because the products that I have, I make sure to do a lot of research and find the benefits of it. I focus more on helping than just having a cleansing soap. Um, and we've expanded to lip balms, lotions, and bug sticks. So we're having a lot of fun with it. I'm gonna keep making it because it seems to really help people, so that's, that's what we do. We generate um, our income by going to different farmers markets, and with those markets and our online sales, that's how we generate enough money to feed a lot of our animals, uh, bedding, caring, things like that. Camp Figwig gets a lot of support from a lot of different people. It's very difficult to name every single one of them. My mom is a huge supporter of us. Um, another person that I absolutely couldn't do it without is my <laughs> husband, Nathan. He puts up with me and all the animals and so much. I see her passion for it and uh, 
I just try to support her the best that I can. Um, I've really never seen anybody as passionate about anything as she is about these animals. You know, I wanted to be there for her and I wanted her to accomplish her goals. And I, I've seen some of the miracles, you know, that she almost single-handedly made happen, you know. You can't help but be touched by some of the things that have happened and some of the stories and, you know, she's saving lives. It's a, it's a struggle, but I think we're, we're right at the brink of some big things happening. She's one of those people that really wears her heart on her sleeve. I think that the goal really is um, to change the world. I know it sounds crazy and it sounds like, you know, a little maybe overzealous, but I believe that we can, you know, with the right help, we can make a, a real change. If somebody abandons a house and there's a, a, a dog in it, they know who to call. There's a dog in local dog rescue. They call them, they come get the dog. But if it's a pig or, or a goat or a donkey, you know, we've had all these situations and there's nowhere for them to go. So we've made a lot of progress and we do have some land and uh, I'm perfectly willing to, you know, donate that land, that nine acres and uh, put it in the animal sanctuary's name. It really being an educational source as well, especially for children. With the right amount of help, we can really, you know, accomplish our goals and, and spread the word and, and make make a change, you know, change the world. I think we can do it. <laughs>